with my mom playing basketball, you know, my uncle who's my trainer back in Florida recommended me that I should play basketball and look at me now. Track was my first sport, so I ran track and then, you know, they've seen that I can run really fast and they suggested that, you know, I should play basketball, all of my coaches. I watch ESPN a lot. I keep I like sports. Uh, anybody could tell you I would rather watch a sports game than a reality TV show. I like to watch track when it's on. Um, football, college football is the best, but I can do some NFL football as well. My college coaches gave me the opportunity. I wasn't highly recruited, you know, coming out of high school. And, you know, the University of Pittsburgh, Coach B and Coach Williams came down, you know, had a home visit and, you know, liked what they seen and they offered me, a, they offered me, you know, a scholarship and I went up there and visited and I committed right away. I like the program, I like the team and I also like the coaching staff. That's what, you, that's what you live for. You go to a school where you don't have like the people at UConn or Tennessee or you know, those big schools like that. But you know what, I grinded it out all five years. I was at the University of Pittsburgh. You know, went to the Sweet 16 twice, you know, made um, uh, NCAA appearance once. And then from there on out, you know, the sky was the limit for us. Zealous was drafted by the Shock for their final season in Detroit. Her impact was instant earning an all-rookie team selection while posting 15.6 points per game and five rebounds per game in the playoffs, which remain career highs. It was a good year. I was with a lot of veterans, you know, Deanna Nolan, who's my um, favorite WNBA player. Um, I was with Katie Smith, I was with Bill Lambert, I was with Rick Mahorn, you know, I was with Shell Reeves, you know, so it was a great experience there and they taught me a lot. You know, I had to work hard every single day being a rookie going into there. And you know, I learned a lot from them guys and I appreciate everything that we had in Detroit. Coach Reed, she was a tough coach on me. You know, I was this rookie thinking I'm just that, just dead, and she, you know, got some sense to me real fast. I mean, was on me every day about working hard. This is not like college, this is where we're playing against professional women. And she just emphasized how important it is to work hard day in and day out. And you know, I learned from her and you know, she's one of the good coaches around here. As a result of working with Reeve, Zealous had a diplomatic take of the widely recognized jacket toss during the 2012 finals. She got her team fired up. I don't, I mean, I don't see what was wrong with that. I mean, any coach, any player will want their coach to fight for them and she stood up and fought for them and that's something she did for us in Detroit. Following Detroit's relocation to Tulsa, the Shock traded Zealous to the Indiana Fever. The transaction was the framework for new connections, including Tamika Catchings. Luckily, Indiana gave me an opportunity and, you know, they called up and they worked out a trade and I'm here today and I'm just happy to be here. You know, I work out with Tamika every day after practice. You know, in order to be great, you have to, you know, put yourself around great people and, you know, she's one of the great people around this league and she always talks to me, you know, telling me things I need to do, things that I could do better and, you know, every day after practice we get together and just like we was just a few minutes ago and we get around and we just shoot and do things that we do. Comfort and time are linear connections for Zealous, whose scoring has increased along with her playing time. She has a short list of improvements, but the marks are vital. Probably my outside shot mostly, you know, from behind the arc. Um, I think I have became more comfortable with shooting that as far as the mid-drain game and attacking the basket. Injuries have run rampant for Indiana since the 2012 playoffs demonstrating the value of perseverance for Zealous and her perimeter peers. It wasn't what I told myself. I think as a collective um, group from the perimeter, we all knew we had to step up. You know, Katie is a key, you know, a key player on our team. She's one of our leaders. And, you know, when she went down in that Connecticut game, we came together and we said, we all got to do something a little bit more, whether it's points, whether it's rebounds, whatever it took, you know, to get to what Katie was doing for us. And I think all of us is doing that as a collective group. We're just hungry. You know, we just going out there each and every game and playing like it's our last game. You know, it's the last five games of the WNBA season, not, you know, the playoffs or, you know, not a, a final or anything like that. This is the last five games of the season, so we're just hungry and we're going out there to compete every night. We've been battling injuries after injuries after injuries, and, you know, we weathered the storm doing that, and, you know, adversity once again hit us you know, with this finals and even in the playoffs um, in the Eastern Conference Finals. So, you know, we're just battling, we stand together and getting through things. What's standing out more is how much we're playing together. 
and we're standing together. We're not letting adversity take the best of us. You know, when K went down, we could have all folded up and said, well, we lost one of our key players, so what are we going to do now? But that comes with having a great leader in Tamika Ketchens. You know, she pulled all of us together and told us that, like you said, when one, you know, gets hurt, another one has to step up, and I think we all are doing that. Um, we have staken together through everything. So, you know, the experience is we have a great leader, and she hasn't allowed us, you know, to give up or lay down. So that all kudos goes to Tamika for being on our team. Zealous enjoyed her influence in the playoffs, including a 30-point effort in Game 3 of the Finals, and is ready for her 2013 dash to basketball's most prestigious finish line. Mike Peden, Examiner.com.